Hi guys! Here are the five myths and five truths about me answers. This ought to be pretty fun for you guys. Uh, let's see, the first one, I was raised Amish. That is a myth, but that is actually something that people in real life think is true about me. Because I was raised up in Aroostook County, Maine, and now there are a lot of Amish people there. And because most of the time my hair is pinned up and I wear a lot of dresses and I live a very old-fashioned life, somebody mistaken me one time as being raised Amish and I also at one point in time had the nickname Amish Mama by some of my son's friends. So that's really funny, but that is absolutely a myth. Number two, I was a straight A student. Not true. I did not take school seriously at all. I just, especially in high school, played around and could not wait to get out of there so that I could just work a regular job. I have always preferred working with my hands. Um, but the joke was on me because when I homeschooled my son, I had to educate myself first. So I had to buy a really nice curriculum and spend the evening studying in order to be ready for the next day, especially through those high school years. Um, number three, I love to eat out when I can, as in when I can afford it. That is a myth. No, I do not ever like eating out. Sometimes we will get like a present for Christmas or something to eat out and we will use that um, Corey and I probably eat out maybe twice a year and I do not enjoy that. I would much rather get some extra nice groceries and cook at home. Um, there are a few exceptions. I mean, occasionally I enjoy like a takeout pizza or, um, if we're in the city, which isn't very often, we'll go through like Wendy's drive through and eat in the pickup. I enjoy a few of those occasional budget type takeout things, but I don't really enjoy sit down restaurants. I'd rather be home. Um, number four, I enjoy going to the movies. That is a myth. I have never enjoyed going to the movies. Um, we got into this habit for a while, like every New Year's Eve, we'd go to the movies with some friends of ours that enjoyed going to the movies. And I really realized I was like suffering through that. Like, if I'm going to watch a movie, I want to watch a movie at home and I want to make homemade cheese popcorn. And my husband and I like to watch really old movies, like 40s and 50s movies. And I always find the new movies are disappointing for me. Most of the time, even if they're supposed to be like a family movie, they have some inappropriate something going on. And I don't want to pay that kind of money for their snacks either. I actually, when I go to the movies, smuggle my own snacks into the movies in my purse. Guilty? Okay, five. I accepted Jesus as my savior at age four. That is absolutely true. Now that does not mean that I have always lived a perfect life because no, I have made many mistakes, but I did absolutely do that at age four and I remember it so clearly. Number six, I do not like to drive. This is true. I do not like to drive. I do not. Um, when I was a teenager and it was time for me to take driver's ed and get my license, I didn't want to do it. And I said to dad, why do I have to? Like I had grandmothers that they never drove, like their husbands drove them everywhere. Why do I have to? And he said, Melanie, listen to me. This is serious. We live in a world where you need to know how to drive now. And I am going to insist 
that you get your license and he made me do it. And I wasn't really raised old fashioned, but I had kind of that old fashioned flair to me even as a teenager, like inside me, you know, cause I was thinking, oh, I just don't care to, I'd rather just get married someday and have my husband drive me everywhere. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm glad that dad forced me to do that because I have needed to drive places throughout my life. You know, but like if my husband and I are going somewhere, I'm always going to let him drive. If my son and I are going somewhere, I'm always going to let him drive. If a friend and I are going someplace, um, I would just assume they drive. That's even if I go someplace with my mother, I drive. If I go someplace with my grandmother, nine times out of ten, she will drive. Once in a while, she'll say to me, why don't you drive? And then I know she's tired, but really, I'd rather even ride with my grandmother. <laughs> and, but what's also funny about this topic is I will take you anywhere you want to go in any snowstorm. It doesn't matter if it's a blizzard, what, as long as I can drive back roads slow, that doesn't bother me. But what I really don't like is traffic. I don't want to go into the city and drive and you know if there's an option I'd just really rather ride okay um, number seven I have been down a well this is true this really is true when we bought this house it was a foreclosure home and it had been setting for at least two years empty and oh my gosh, you guys just cannot imagine the work we've put into this place throughout the years. But we had just an old hand dug well on the property and the well went dry. And we heard through the grapevine, you know, in a small town that the well was known to go dry. And that sometimes if you went down it and cleaned the bottom out, like where the uh, water come in, that it would refill and you'd have a low well, but you wouldn't be like all the way dry. And so we needed to do that. But this was an old hand dug well from like the 1800s when people weren't very big. And there's no way my husband could get down there. And of course, my son was just a little kid, like three, four years old. And I had to go down that well and dad and my husband put a ladder down the well and I do not like heights and I had to climb down into that well and I went down with a coffee can to scrape at the bottom because there was not like room enough to dig with a shovel and they sent me down one of those post hole diggers where you have the two handles and you do this and it scoops they lowered that down to me and I was down there I don't know it seemed like hours but they probably could tell you better scraping and they lower a bucket and I put in anything I cleaned out and they pull it up and when I finally said to them that's it I can't do any more um, I had to climb back up the ladder oh and by the way this well was 20 feet deep and I had to climb back up the ladder with the tools. And we're talking, you know, straight up 20 feet after I've been down there like that. And the water that come in once I cleaned out, you know, the um, vein there so that it could flow in good was like ice. So not only was I tired, I was froze like Probably hyper, uh, hyperthermia type froze could have been an issue. I was so cold. And I remember getting just so far up that ladder coming out. And I said to my husband, I can't do it. And I remember him just reaching down into that well and grabbing onto me and just pulling me the rest of the way up. And when I got inside, my mother was waiting at the door for me hysterical and she just literally starts stripping me to get these wet clothes off me. it was like wow seriously it was one of the scariest things I have ever 
ever had to do. And it did help. Like we were able to get by with that well for years. We would have to get water from friends and jugs and stuff to supplement, but there would be enough water in there to like, you know, flush the toilet or um, wash some dishes or stuff like that. We got by and then luckily um, my husband's grandmother blessed us with the gift of money to get a well drilled. And oh my goodness, you guys, I have such a heart for people like in other countries and stuff like that, that do not have good drinking water that have to go, you know, lug this water out on their head in a pail or, or whatever. It just really gave me a heart for that because if you don't have water, you don't have anything. I mean, that is like such a basic need for life. So anyhow, I, I don't think any of you guessed that I had. I'll have to double check that. Okay, number eight, because I don't work, my house is always clean. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is such a myth. And I have never worked outside of the home since I married my husband. So I always thought, oh, you know, my house will be so clean. No, seriously. Um, my apartment before I married my husband was clean. My house is not dirty. No, but I mean, like I've never been able to keep it to the standard that my mother and grandmother keep theirs. Of course, for one thing, I live in the country. My driveway is very muddy. My guys do work where they come home muddy and greasy hands, greasy clothes, so there's a lot of mud and that stuff going on. My dog, you know, she's sliding down the doors with muddy paws, that type of stuff. And of course, my house has been under construction. This is no joke for 17 years because we just poke at it when we have the cash, you know, debt-free living type thing. And um, so like right now, I've got sheetrock going down the hallway waiting to be installed. I just... No, you know, but you get up every day and you do what has to be done. I'm not going to like have dirty dishes laying all over and stuff like that, you know, but I definitely don't keep like one of those perfect picture, perfect houses. No. And then the other thing that's funny too, is when you're home every day, people assume that you have nothing to do so that they should find stuff for you to do. So like throughout the years, not only was I homeschooling my son, which really did take all my time, but like the amount of volunteer work and stuff that I would be asked to do was unbelievable. And of course, um, at the time when we, my son was little, my husband was working like 80 some hours a week. So I mean, I would be like trying to do repairs on the house while he was at work. I would be trying to do the outside work plus the inside work. I mean, it just, that has always been a dream of mine to have a super, super clean house, but no, no. <laughs> um, some people might tell you my house is clean, you know, because it is to their standards, but it's not as clean as I would like. Um, number nine, I will tackle any job no matter what. This is true. Yes, really. We do not pay people to do stuff for us. Um, that is part of like debt free living. And no, I wasn't always debt free. We dug ourselves out slowly over the course of many years. But the reason we were able to do that is because we will tackle any project no matter what. Now, that doesn't mean we don't sometimes need help, you know, like dad will come help or a friend will come help or whatever. But if something needs to be done, whether it's on the house, whether it's um, on a vehicle, whatever, we figure that out and we do it to the best of our ability. And a lot of times we try to think outside the box and figure out how we might be able to do it a little bit cheaper. Um, back to the well thing, when we had our well drilled, we did pay for the guy to come and drill it. 
But then we rented the equipment and my husband dug the trench as far as he could up to the house. And then he hand dug near the foundation with a shovel six, I think like six feet down below the frost line. And mom and dad came over and uh, the three of us and mom and dad laid all the water lines, you know, ourselves from the well into the house, all that. We just, we do everything ourselves. And that is something that my family has done for generations and my husband's family has done for generations. It's probably just a part of being somebody who lives in Maine. You just do this stuff. Um, my mother has this awesome saying that she says, um, the only way these jobs are going to get done is if we just do them. All right. Number 10, I am a very content person. This is so, so true. Seriously. Um, in the Bible, Paul, he said that he learned to be content with little or a lot in the worst of circumstances and the best of circumstances. His life showed that. And that really is how I am. I am so content with whatever, like I'm never looking for anything super exciting to happen. I'm never looking for new things or I'm just very content every day. Just get up, spend time with my family, cook, do the dishes, laundry, whatever, garden. I just, I'm a content person. I really am. I don't really have any big dreams or anything like that. I'm thankful for everything. God has given me everything he's done in my life. All right, guys, I hope you have found this fun. I know it's been fun for me and it's a great chance for us to get to know each other better. A lot of times my days are busy and I'm just giving you guys meals and I'm never talking to you. You're just seeing what I'm cooking. So this has been fun. And you guys did a really good job guessing. I mean, most of you came really, really close on these. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.